the tithe is a principle given before the Mosaic Law and New Testament did not change the truth of this blessing. Tithe before the law was from war spoils, not Abram's monetary income. Tithe during the law was from agricultural produce, not Israel's monetary income. Tithing after law was not taught by any of the apostles as a practice for the church. Conclusion, God never commanded a tithe of anyone's monetary income. Pastors have handled the word of God deceitfully to con a people who do not study their Bibles, out of 10% of their money. Such pastors are liars and thieves. I honestly don't understand why people think, or are led to believe that the Old Testament no longer applies. It is like saying God has changed when he hasn't. They are gonna learn yet. So, if the Old Testament still applies as you say, then God's tithe is still agricultural as revealed in Leviticus 27, 30 through 33 and Deuteronomy 14, 22 through 29. It is still only for the Israelites as written in Leviticus 27, 34, Numbers 18, 24 through 26, Nehemiah 10, 37 through 38 and Psalm 147 verses 19 and 20. Further, they are still only in the promised land as recorded in Deuteronomy 6, verses 1 through 3, and 12, 10 through 11. After all, Hebrews 7, 5 through 9 reveals that the tithe is still, according to the law, food and things of that nature won't pay the church bills, idiot. You try taking a cow to the light company to pay your own light bill. They would probably call the mental hospital and the law on your behind. The church can't run off food and cattle, lights, music, cleaning, water, phone, and such. If you attend a church you can pay a tithe. Now, y'all who think like that are the greedy fools worried about where it goes. Everything that has lights, water, and phone, has bills. Even the companies where you go to pay those bills. It's just common sense. What part of the Bible says the Old Testament don't apply though? Please enlighten me. I've never seen it. Although we may change, the word of God never changes. There is not one instance in the Bible where God requires man to tithe money to the church. If we say that God wants our congregation to give him monetary tithe, we need to have scripture to support our claim. There is no scripture to support the claim though. Jonathan, we are not greedy at all. We believe in supporting the place where we assemble. What we do not support is twisting God's word in order to gain that support. We instead teach the church to give in accordance with 2 Corinthians 9, 6-7. The saints need to be taught to love God and the things of God. If they are taught these things, they will give to meet needs. In the book of the Acts of the Apostles, we read of how Judaizers wanted the saved Gentiles to be circumcised and to keep the Mosaic law. Peter said they were trying to burden the Gentiles with a burden they themselves could not bear. James said that the Judaizers were trying to overthrow the souls of the Gentiles. The decision arrived at was that the Gentiles were not to be made to obey the Mosaic law. Search the scriptures. Be as the Bereans. You will find that the tithe command is only found within the law, or pointing back to the law. It was never meant for us.